Hey people, it's Kelly of Print, Pray, Slay, and I'm here to do a very special video on the Bibles we have in our home. Um, I actually didn't grab my husband's Bible and I'm missing one of mine, um, but I wanted to briefly do mine just to give you an overview, um, just for anybody who hasn't seen mine, and then go, really, this video is about the kids' Bibles. Um, but since mine were right here, I was like, oh, let me just do mine real quick. So this is my journaling Bible. It is the Autumn Song Bible. Um, let me see. So this is what, they, what it looks like without the cover on it. This is the Bible that I use to journal in. Um, I journal my prayers. I journal notes. All such like that. So it has um, images and everything in it that I put in it. Um, and then my prayers and stuff are on the side. So this is about my husband and I. So that's my journaling Bible. Um, I aim to fill it up <laughs> with a lot of my prayers and notes. Then this is my new favorite Bible. And this is my chronological life application study Bible. Let me show you the cover of this one. Oh, and the Autumn Song Bible is out of um, print. So they're no longer selling that. But um, there are tons of journaling Bibles. So, you know just get one <laughs> and this is my life application study bible this is my favorite bible because it's the one i use the most um because i'm doing a study chronologically through the bible so i love it it's chunky um i love that it has like color pictures in it um text about individual people it's it's divided differently um as in again it's chronological so therefore you know it has um <clears throat> The text of the Bible is out of the typical order that we usually see it in because it's going by the order of which events occurred. And I really, really like that. I think it helps me. For some people, they want to read the Bible the way that it was uh, formatted originally. And that's fine, too. I just felt like I would receive it better this way. So that's why I opted for this. Okay. So then is my first Bible. And used to be my favorite Bible, which is that same Bible there, except for it's not chronological. So this is still, that's a long Bible, so old. It's still a life application study Bible. Uh, nothing extra about the cover. It's a leather cover. Um, I believe they still sell these on Amazon. And the other one is on Amazon. I, I linked the chronological one below. But um, this is my regular, regular Bible. So it's definitely still my go-to because um, I just like that it's in the order that I'm familiar with. So if I'm ever looking for a scripture, I go to this one. I study with this one. <laughs> so I don't really go to it for reference. I go to this one for reference. And this is my first journaling Bible. It will not fit in the frame because <laughs> it's super large. So it is a large print inspired Bible. It is one of the most beautiful Bibles that I have. Um, but it's still a journaling Bible. The reason why I didn't um, stick to it uh, was because of these. It, like if I wanted to journal here, I couldn't because this was already taken up and it started to, it just started to bother me that I couldn't do what I wanted to do in this journaling Bible. So I put it away. Um, I still have it there because it's special to me and has some really, really good um notes in here but um i don't know if i'll ever go back to using it but i still have it and it was just too big as you can see the difference between this bible and this bible are, are drastic <laughs> all right so that's my journaling bibles my study bibles and everything like that let me get them out the way and these are my current kid bibles so if you see my video where I say my daughter ripped her cover and it's now in my scripture writing notes, my collage, this is where it came from. So this is Amira's Bible. Um, she is eight right now. And so she's reading this one. So it really just has, what is it called? My first, I think it says read and learn <laughs> Bible. <laughs> and it has a little name in there. So it has a story of creation, and I just think that it's really nice. It has all the major stories, story of Noah, Moses, and then it ends with God's love. 
for little children. And I thought this was really nice. It's padded, as you can see. <laughs> it has some stuff on there. It's wipeable. So I like that. So if your child is into biting Bibles, or not Bibles, <laughs> biting um, books still or something like that, this is an okay book for that. I think this is really for itty bitty. Um, Amira should be ready to leave this Bible soon. Very, 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 very soon. <laughs> Since she is eight. But I think it's nostalgic for her. So she likes this one. This is Eden's Bible. As you can see, the page is hanging out. <laughs> she didn't use it. This is the Children of Color Storybook Bible. So I love that this Bible had like the art that's in this Bible. Um, it definitely has a lot of the stories. It's still the main stories. Oh, I forgot one of them upstairs. Another book. Um, but it's a story Bible. It's not really a Bible. It's just a whole bunch of stories. Like this one, but this one does go more in depth. This is actually a Bible I recommend for an adult. If they want to get a good synopsis of the Bible as a whole and all the different stories, it's a quick read. What is it like? 245 pages. But as you can see, it's not the whole Bible. But it's still, I think, a good read for an adult. But definitely for a, you know, a kid. Um, well, it's actually for a kid. But I just thought it would be a good read for all of the adults that probably are having an issue with reading the Bible. I think this gives you a little bit more detail. Um, what is this? <laughs> that's from church. <laughs> or maybe that's where she left off. Um, but I really like the, the, the pictures and everything. It keeps her engaged and everything like that. And every page isn't like full of pictures. Some are full of um, a lot of text. But I really like how this Bible goes and flows. And I like the images and everything in them. So, um, but I have to get her something new. So, yeah, it's breaking off at the seam and stuff. So, again, <laughs> another Bible that is being well used. Um, and Eden is nine. So, you can find it. This one is definitely on Amazon. All right. And this is my son's Action Bible. Got this from Amazon as well. All of these will be linked below. Except for the um, last bible the one that is the newest ones so um this was a really exciting gift for my son he loves his action bible he reads it i'm not lying pretty much every day um but he has read it multiple times so i figured that it was time for him to get a new bible uh, i don't know what that is i don't know if he's trying to draw something <laughs> it's got a little bit of warping on it because it's gotten wet it's been in his room so but it has all of the statement, I mean, all of the stories and everything that are in here in the beginning. As you can see, it's plenty of them. This is a very, very thick book. I think it goes into way more detail than any other children's book Bible that we have because he's the oldest. But I also like the images. Like, it's just, it's like a comic book type. Look at that line. <laughs> So I really like that. Um, what I didn't really like is that because it's in comic book format, it's not giving him as much context as I would like. It's enough for him to understand. Like definitely he gets the, the meat out of it. I would say the language in here um, is that of probably a 10 plus year old. Um, it does get real in here. Like, um, like. There are like is that the thigh that no okay, but yeah the beasts are in here. Um, death is in here. It's like this is definitely a Bible that a teenager could um get with and grown adults as well. It's like really I like I think it's an entertaining read as far as like how the images come together and really tell the story of the people and everything. My son loves it. Um, and it's easy for him to comprehend what's going on and bring it back to me and have a discussion and stuff. He checks my facts all the time. <laughs> so I really like that. And it just keeps him interested. So I'm just trying to flip through it. There it goes. Okay. So you can see like it, this, the final days, it does get into like, Revelation. All right, so you have Genesis, Exodus. So it's just not stories. It's the stories are in there, 
and they do explain the stories in the beginning. Genesis 1, 2. Tempted in the garden. Genesis 3. So it does give the story, like the title of what is going to be um, read, but it gives the scripture as well. And I really like that. Um, and then here, if you needed to just go straight to the scripture, it's right here. So all the books are covered in this Bible. And that's something I really, really like is that he got everything. Now. I feel like it's still, um, it's still condensed, of course, um, you know, to make room for the pictures and everything like that. Like a book like this with all Bible texts would be huge. <laughs> um, but I feel like he does very well at grasping this book and I really like that. I was trying to see if I could show you any of how the animals are. Okay, yeah, you see. So it, it definitely doesn't shy away from people's expressions of, of being sad or afraid or anything like that. Like it's not a, I don't want to say these Bibles are fluffy, but it's not a, um, just a kitty type book. So if you are not ready for your child to get past Noah's Ark, um, I don't know if this is the Bible for you. Again, my son has had this Bible since I think he was eight years old. That's why I said it. it's time for Mary to <laughs> do what she needs to do. But he's had this for about two years. Um, like I said, he's read it multiple times and he loves it. But I feel like he needed to graduate. So everybody's moving up. So I don't, I think he will keep this, but I will buy another one probably for Eden. Um, Eden will keep hers, but I will buy another one for Amira. And then we'll just put this away. <laughs> All right. Now let's show you the new Bibles that I bought for my son. Okay. So this is a straight unboxing. I have never seen them outside of a whole bunch of Facebook ads <laughs> that keep telling me to buy them. Okay. So we have these two. Well, this one, I thought about two little work, not worksheets, but, um, oh, goodness. Whew. okay. So you can see that by size. This Kingstone Bible is about the size of the Action Bible, but there's three of them because there's three volumes. So I like that it's the same type of imagery that my son likes. But I felt because it was in two sep I mean three different books, that obviously there's more text and more images in there. In the Action Bible. So this is volume three. Volume two. And then this is volume one. All right, so I know there's a glare. And then I had bought a little, I think this one was like, questions answered about the Bible. Yeah. 101 questions. So we love dinosaurs. Immediately after seeing this, I was like, I'm going to get that one. So 101 questions about the Bible and Christianity. So you can see how it's still in that. Um, I wonder if they're made by the same people. I don't think so. Though. They are not. They are not made by the same people. But it's definitely the same style. These people just took it a, a little bit um, further. <laughs> um, in explaining everything. But um, he's a cane. Okay. 
So this is volume one. I mean, and there are more of these. Um, and I saw them, but I wanted to see how I like them. So where did Cain get his wife? You know, we all had that question. What did the Bible say about dinosaurs? I actually asked this question in Bible study when I was in college. Because I was like, look, <laughs> I don't know Bible don't address dinosaurs. So um, I like... I like the questions that I ask already. Um, and this is more um, of a comic book. So you got to make sure your child is ready for that. Um, what they did, which is really interesting, is that they have the Bible with the four book, the three books in it. But then they have these little comic books. Um, and then they also break down books like this is Jonah, King David. Um, so and then they have a whole story about Christ. So that's interesting that you can continue to build on it. And it probably, you know, of course, it's the same context, but it just goes more into detail. So let's open up volume one. Hold on. Let's compare it side by side to action real quick. Okay. So same width and height. Similar thickness. Okay. Don't mind this. This is just aging. That's all. I think they both are quality books. Okay. So. Ooh. It just feels good to open a new book. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I love the royal purple that's going on here. Okay. There's a timeline. And it goes straight into it. So there is no, um, like, content. Oh, there it goes. I'm sorry. I just skipped right over it. So it does the same thing where it gives the story, the scripture, and then the page number. So in the scene, we'll break the spine a bit. So you do have that. And so it goes the beginning, patriarchs, um, commandments, judges, kings. And that's all that's in here. That's all. So it definitely gets whew, a lot real. I just want to flip through a couple pages. This is God calling for Adam. Okay, so that's the serpent. You know what? Let me compare each scene to a scene. So this is when the serpent is talking to Eve. Okay, so we got day one, two, three, four, five. Tempted in the garden. This is when the serpent is talking to Eve. You can see the difference um, in the characters. Okay, this is the flaming sword and protection. So they can't go back. So you see how the serpent comes to her and they get kicked out um, in the same spread. Okay, she ate, she, the serpent talked to her. She ate the apple. They lied. They got kicked out. All that happened on one spread. This one shows she's talking to the serpent. One page, one spread. She ate the apple on another page. Adam and Eve are hiding from God. The serpent gets legs. Get his legs taken away. I'm sorry, not get legs. <laughs> get his legs taken away. This is God talking to them about, you know, the issues that they have. This is how God had to kill um it will sacrifice animals for their clothing. And this is the flaming sword. You see the shame. And then they move on. And that's when they had um, Cain. So it took more pages to do the same thing. Again, that just means more imagery. And going more into depth. Like here you just see. Hold on. It says God makes, let me show you. 
Okay. Because you disobeyed me, you must leave this beautiful garden. From now on, you'll have to work hard to survive. God makes clothes for Adam and Eve out of animal skins and sends them away. Okay. The first blood shed in human history is recorded as God kills two animals to use their skins as covering for the fallen humans. I think that's important. You don't get that importance until you really wrap everything around um, as you get older, like older in the Bible, not older in age. But as you start reading more, you understand that sacrifice had to happen because of your sin. Um, so it, I don't, I don't want, yes, I guess I can say that that Bible kind of skips over it. But um, again, it's a kid's Bible. And I think that this one just goes more into details, of course. So I think that he will really, really like this. And I can't wait to give it to him on um, Christmas. So, oh my goodness, look at all the sound. What is that? Leprosy? Oh goodness. So, again, I think it just has really, really good imagery. Same comic book style. Um, these words are bolder than these words. I don't know if I can show you that. Can you see that? Okay, well, you really probably can't tell, but I can tell looking at them that the Kingstone Bible has, uh, they both are in all caps, which makes it easier for somebody to um, read these little texts, but these are in bolder font. Of course, if you have one product that I believe came out first, which is the Action Bible, and then somebody else comes out with their version of it, um... They aim to make it different and make it better. Um, so I think that's what they did. I'm not sure if this one came out later. It's just this is the order in which we're buying ours. So I'm assuming that's so because I have never heard of this Bible before, the Kingstone Bible. I had the action one in mind for a while now. Okay. Oh, I like this. So it starts to talk about. Okay. David. So that's really nice. I'm glad I stumbled upon that difference. It's like the title chapters. And these things get different. So they go from white. They have some dark pages, some gray pages. Okay, I'm trying to see how it ends. So it's at the bottom. So you can see it says Psalm 23, 1, 6. And that's an image of the Ten Commandments. Okay, let's stick with that royal purple. So I like that. You'll know what page you're on by what's at the bottom. It has the page numbers there. So 1 Samuel, 2 Samuel, Judges, Ruth. That's my story right there. Book of Ruth is fairly, you know, short. But I like that they took their time with it, it seems. All right. And I want to show you that this is only happening for people. So this isn't happening for chapters in the Bible. Because clearly we go from Judges to Ruth. And there's no, there's a Ruth right here. <laughs> That's how you know we're in Ruth. Like a new something. So every one of them does not just change and have its own title page. Let me see what happens with Judges. Okay, Joshua. Okay, the Judges. And it goes into that. 
And this one will probably talk about Joshua. Joshua. But hold on a second. Because it has Deuteronomy and Judges here and then Genesis here. So is this going in Chron? These numbers. I have to figure out the order that it's going in. Because it just went all over. Because clearly this just said Genesis and Deuteronomy. This is Genesis 12, 3, 1. I mean, one, three. Genesis 11, and then it stops, and then it goes into Job. Well, that was Job that was looking like that. Oh, Bohemian. Yep, there it goes, Bohemian. So I think that'll be a nice mm, Leviathan. Okay. So I have to sit down and see why we kind of go back to 12 here in the middle of Deuteronomy. But then Numbers is right there. Well, we're in the middle of Numbers, but they stuck Deuteronomy and Genesis in there. So it must be some kind of context that I'm not sure of right now. But really, really good. Bible and then this is volume two now you can buy each of these separate oh the orange it's my favorite color um but I chose to buy all of them I just took a leap and said I just know it's gonna be good so and it was a sale um that kept coming on my um Instagram I mean my Facebook so we have Kings 2 Exile the Prophets another timeline and then we get straight into it. And you know where we are because it says First Kings. So again, saying, what is that? Oh, I thought that was an animal. That's the calf. Ooh, it smells good. Okay. Malachi. I think this is so neat. It makes me want to read this Bible before or with him. <laughs> it's just really neat. It really, really is. Um, I'm so glad we got them. He is going to be so excited. He is. I got to hurry up and get them back into the box um, before he wakes up. Because he doesn't know I bought them. The greatest love story. Alright, so we have Christ, X, Letters, Revelation. Okay. Okay, so we start off with Christ. So we have Joseph and Mary, the Christ. Look at baby Jesus. <laughs> Simon, Peter, so just really, I can't say it enough, I mean, you all see it, like, mm, loving that sound, I hope my son don't care about that sound, because I don't think he's going to get it, as far as, like, opening a book for the first time, this is Revelation, look at Revelation as us, look at the city, this regular city. Look at the angel. Look at the wings. So I've wondered about this part and the imagery for my son. Um, but I think he can I think he can take it. Um, it's not about it being like scary. It's about us really realizing that it's real. 
um, and somebody making those words come to life. Like it can be a little um, scary. Uh, it's not. It is not this. Like it is not this. Is that two totally different type of Bibles? So um, look at this thing. Say vote, y'all. <laughs> So it makes me want to read the book before because, I mean, it does look like some Walking Dead type stuff because <laughs> he is 10. But I feel like, I mean, he's played games and everything. It's just that you know that that's not real. So when you go to read this and knowing that this is biblical text, um, of course, the imagery is in the artist, but still I want to make sure that he is not, you know, uh, disturbed by what's to come, especially since we don't know when it's going to happen. Um, every generation says the end is near, um, but I don't want him to ignore that it could be um, <laughs> tomorrow. Uh, so I just let him know. I can't, I can't even say that. How do you say when you get to this part, call me so I can read it with you. Um, but I mean, there's other parts in there. There's definitely, you know, scandal and, um, sex and different types of abuse and mental abuse and slavery and things like that that's in there. Um, and just going to have to stay on top of them when we're reading it to make sure that it really, that he fully understands what's going on and that he's not freaked out. Um, because... It could be, but I mean, if he sticks with it, he'll get to the end, <laughs> which is the best part of knowing after reading all of this, that you're going to be okay. So I'm excited. I can't wait for my son to get these Bibles. I mean, I really feel like it's something that he and I can definitely do together. Him and his dad can do together. Like, I feel like it's on the level of um, of adults as well. Um, I know Eden will be excited to get this one. <laughs> so I'll see if my son wants to keep it um, because it is his. Um, or if he wants to um, pass it on to her or she needs to get her own. <laughs> I, I'm going to ask him after he sees these. And ask him. Because I would like not to have to buy another one. But I do respect that this was his Bible. Um, you know, you just get used to one. And you flip through it so many times. You have memories of reading it. Writing about it. And stuff like that. So, Because he has written me little reports about it. And stuff like that. So I don't, I don't know. I'm going to ask him. But I think all of these are very good resources for children. And I just urge people to get into the Word with their kids. Um... You should be graduating them. Like, you know, they shouldn't be, you know, reading the, the fluffs, not fluff stories, but the wonderful stories only. They need to read the ones that teach them the life lessons. Um, and that helps you relate life to them. So this is my review. I recommend all of these Bibles. Um, I know there are a ton of other ones that are really good. Just for now, I know that my child is ready to open a Bible and see just words. So I think something like this is really helpful for them. Um, other things we do, I watch um, Bible stories, cartoon Bible stories on um, YouTube. I have a playlist of Bible story cartoons. Uh, cartoons range, you know, there are some cartoons that are definitely more mature. And then there are some that are like really, uh, well, I actually don't have any really kiddie-ish ones because I, I, I just can't. <laughs> I, I do need meat in there. Um, cause I like to watch them as well. So I would say Disney, um, Pixar and on, I definitely wouldn't do like, for me, we're not into like a Nickelodeon type of Nick Jr. type of Bible story. So the playlist, I'll link my playlist below for the different Bible stories, um, all the way up to the ones that I really, really like the prodigal son one. And these are on YouTube. So, um, it's just that I took the time to pull it all together. So, um, if you want to watch my playlist, that's fine. Um, I also watch, uh, the Bible project 
um, because those are also imagery. So it's not a cartoon per se. I mean, it's animated, but it's not a cartoon per se. It's like drawing and, and they are narrating it. Um, but the kids really like it um, the same way they like Ted Ed or Ted Talk type of thing. Well, not Ted Talk. I like Ted Talk. They like Ted Ed. <laughs> so um, I think the Bible Project is also wonderful. I will link their channel below. But these are all wonderful resources that I hope everybody is doing. My kids have um, a place in my faith planner with a journal. Um, their Bible studies at times. You'll see, you've seen videos of me and my girls, me and my son, my whole family has Bible journal together before. Um, I'm just really, really encouraging everybody to get into the word because you'll be there to answer those questions the same way we want to be there to answer those life questions. Like, um, when kids come to you and they asking about dating or they're asking about drugs or they're asking about certain movies or just diseases or love, you want to be there and have that relationship with them in order for them to be able to ask you that. Um, and that's something that you have to establish. I think the same thing happens with biblical texts. Like if you establish that relationship with them with biblical texts, then they will come to you and say, uh, you know, what was meant by this? And if you don't know, that's okay. It's a fun Googling session for you and your family. Um, but the fact that they will come and ask you um, is amazing. So I think that it starts now, like they're young. It isn't, you know, for me, I, I didn't want to do it when they became teenagers. Um, but if you're already there, that's fine. Like this is definitely a good book for a teenager. Um, as a matter of fact, the action book was recommended to me by a friend and we are in our thirties and he was like, Oh yeah, something like this. And I was like 30 year old reading like the Bible. My son's not going to like the Bible you read. But I gave it a shot and I was like, he really does like that Bible. So I was thankful. Like it just crosses over. Um, and like I said, reading a book like this or like this as an adult, do not be ashamed of it. It's an easy way to get the word into you. I don't care how you get the word in there. <laughs> just, you know, read it. Um, if it's going to be easier for you to take this on a plane or take this, you know, while you're riding a train to work or something like that. Or just, you know, a morning read and you'll read it in like a weekend or something. Just you know, get it so that you can say, oh, I'm used to reading biblical texts. And then you can get into the devotions and stuff that we as adults tend to be more into. Um, but you have to start somewhere. And I think that this is a really good start for an adult. Um, but it's a wonderful start for a child. Um, I would say, hmm, I would say this is good enough for a 10 year old as well. I just know my son and I knew that he would be more into the action Bible. Um, I think that if you're okay with the images and things like that and how really, really into the details that it gets with, you know, death and stuff like that, then, um, I would say 10, I would say 10, but if you have a mature eight year old, that's fine too. As long as they can, you know, say, I mean, not say as long as they can read these words, I mean, they're not you know really really hard descendants i mean you, they'll just ask you <laughs> how do you say this word so um that's what i encourage everybody to do family bible study is important it doesn't have to be all at the same time to be honest we don't read it all at the same time it's just knowing that the family is reading it at some point in time is very very important and it establishes a love for the word early so um that's my nugget for today i hope you all enjoyed um reviewing these bibles if you have any questions if you want to see a like a more in-depth flip through or a review after we've read all of these um <laughs> because uh, i believe we'll continue to go into the volumes um not volumes there are only three volumes of the bible but like i said you had the other um text that you can go into i don't know if they have the example on here no they don't but there are other books that go like this jonah it's a whole book about jonah we might graduate to that later first let's get the word in <laughs> like as it is right here all right thank you all for watching bye-bye